Why is a rhombus called a rhombus? And what is a rhombus anyway? Well, a rhombus is a four-sided shape where all of the sides are of equal length. If you think that sounds suspiciously like a square, you'd be right. A square is technically a type of rhombus, but we usually use the term for diamond shapes. Legend has it that the rhombus started out as a perfect square, but then it got run by a bus, leaving it ever so slightly wonky. Its sides are still the same size, but its angles not so much. Sadly, what's stopping that legend from being a fact is that I made it up and the shape predates the vehicle by about 2,000 years. To get to the real source of the name, we have to look to the ancient Greeks, led by the big man himself, Euclid, who were making great advances in geometry in about 300 BC. They took the Greek word rembo, meaning I turn, which gave us the word rhombos for anything that turns or spins, like a spinning top. If you think about what a spinning top looks like from the side, you'll see that it was an inspired choice for the Square's slightly wonky cousin. And in an unusual demonstration of global consensus, almost the whole world agreed. Travel through Europe, Africa, Asia and beyond, you'll find that the majority of our languages adopted the Greek convention for their own wonky squares. Rhombus, romb, rumbe, same root, with each language's own unique spin. But there are some notable exceptions. The Portuguese went with losango, which gave us the English word lozenge and came from the Spanish losa, meaning tile, presumably because the rhombus makes for a rather lovely tiled pattern. In Czech and Slovak, we've got kosochtverets, which means slanted square. Say what you see. But the Japanese looked to nature for inspiration, specifically the water caltrop, which is an aquatic plant with rhombus-shaped fruit. This plant, hishi, gave the word hishigata for the shape, but that's not all it gave. The Japanese word for three is mitsu. So if you have three rhombuses, rhombi, you'd have mitsu hishi. But in compound words, that H becomes a B and gives us mitsubishi, which is the name of the Japanese car manufacturer who has three rhombuses as their logo. Speaking of which, why should you never travel by diamond? Because it's the wrong bus. Now, if you like your maths with a side order of stupid jokes, then check out our fantastic range of books, courses and resources on our website at sumsofanarchy.com. They'll help you level up your maths game the Sums of Anarchy way.